Now in the topic of polygons and geometrical constructions, let's take a look at checkpoint 11.3 part A. Now in this question, it actually shows you a regular hexagon. Okay, so let's let's identify what did they give you. They give you a hexagon as well as a regular pentagon. Okay, now based on your memory, okay, you have acknowledge or rather recognize that hexagon means a six-sided figure with a pentagon which is five-sided figure. Okay, now in part A, they are actually asking you to calculate the angle BCD. So we are looking at this angle right here. Okay, so upon knowing that this ABCDEF is actually a hexagon, we are looking at a six-sided figure. So let's take a look at part A. Now, with the formula of N minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees, we are looking for the sum of imperial angles okay, of a regular polygon. Okay, or just a polygon itself is fine. Okay, so since your n, which is the number of sides, is 6, we are looking at 6 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. This gives you a total of 720, of which to find one side, okay, one angle, in fact, one angle, so one angle, we are looking at 720 divided by the number of sides, which is 6, to give you a total of 120. Okay, now once done, let's take a look at part B. Now FAY. Okay, so FAY is a little bit unique. I'm cutting it through this way. Now, important things to take note. When you're given a question with regular polygon, okay, regular, always just infer, or rather it means that all sides are equal. Okay, this is very important. So therefore, we are looking at the fact that these and these, they're both the same, correct? Now, again, okay, if, if let's say we are looking at a pentagon, we'll look at a five-sided figure. So you have 5 minus 2 times 180 degree divided by 5, right? So what will you get here? You will get one angle, which is 108. Okay, so you know that in this case, all right, 5 minus 2 multiplied by, okay, sorry, uh, 5, 5 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees divided by 5 will give you 108, right? So we know that the angle AXY means 108 degrees, okay? And this, in these other words, okay, that triangle AXY is an isosceles triangle, okay? So therefore, the angle XAY would be 180 minus 108 divided by 2. Why? Because number one, base angles of an isosceles triangle as well as angle sum. Okay, so you have angle sum of triangle. So this gives you the angle of 36 here. So we know that this angle is 36. Okay, so from what we actually calculated earlier, you know that each angle inside a pentagon is actually 108, correct? So therefore, Alright, so therefore, the answer for part B, angle F, A, Y, can be interpreted as 108 minus away 36 to give you 72 degrees. Okay, now once done, let's take a look at part C. Now part C is asking you for the A, Y, E. Okay, now this is slightly a little bit unique, so I'll be erasing all of these such that you have a better and a clearer idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll be using blue colour for part C. Now, AYE technically means this particular angle, okay? It doesn't have to align, and we cannot assume that it actually aligns, all right? So, it's important not to draw uh, assumption over here. But what you know is that this angle and this angle, they're both the same, okay? Why? Because, I mean, they're all same sides, and they are all isosceles triangles here, okay? So, therefore, what you can interpret right here is the fact that Right, these two angles, okay, these two angles here are one, okay, okay, let me draw and make sure it's a bit clearer for you to understand. So let me draw a straight line. So these two angles, okay, they are both 36 degrees respectively. Okay, now X, Y, Z, in, in its own, it is actually 108 degrees, right? So therefore, if I'm looking at A, Y, F, okay, I'm looking at the angle 108 minus away 2 times of 36. Then what would I get? I will get another 36 over here. So AYF, if let's say I directly connect it, okay, it will become AYE angle which is 36 degrees. Okay, is that clear? Now then let's look at part D. Okay, part D is actually asking for AD. So you have ADEF. So if I were to draw a line, this is what you're looking at. Okay, now 
in this question, they're asking you what is the geometrical name. So if you are looking at a four-sided figure, okay, which means it is either a quadrilateral, correct? But for this, what can you tell? It is very obvious that these two lines, they are parallel because AD is actually a diagonal inside this regular polygon. So therefore, the correct answer, a more appropriate answer would be trapezium. Okay, so they're asking you give reasons, right? Because AD is parallel to EF as AD is a diagonal okay, of a regular polygon. Okay, so this will be your final answer. So down here, you can also either either proving it by this method, okay, or some students, you know, might, might find it a little bit too confusing. So what will I do is I will apply this knowledge. Remember alternate angles, okay? If let's say I have these two angles, which are both, because regular polygon means that they're both the same, right? So therefore, these two shaded angles are both 180, 108 degrees each, okay? So this is a double check, huh? So for a four-sided figure, your total sum is actually 360. Okay, so 360, I minus away 2 times of 108 degrees divided by 2 because all the angles are generally the same. Okay, so what will I get? It will, I will actually be able to get uh, 160, 360 minus away 2 divided by 2 times 108. Okay, I'll be able to get 144. Then after I divide by 2, so this will give me a 72 degrees. Okay, so if you take note, okay, why do I say uh, it is actually applicable? Because this angle is known to be 72, right? So, but alternate angles, okay, green color is alternate angles, green is the alternate angles. Does it show that this angle and this angle is the same? Okay, so does it prove that they are both alternate, like parallel angles? Yes. Okay, because why? Why do you know that this green color 72 is the same? Because 180 minus 108 will also give you 72. So since these two angles, okay, angle A, D, E is the same as D, E, X, for example. Okay, so let this, this side be X. All right, you can say that A, D, E is parallel to F, E, but this is the longer way. Okay, so I'll normally just recommend students to go for the shorter way, which is this. All right.